What's going on, everybody? This is AJ Thunderbolt here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Lightning Lock. In the last episode, we defeated Kabu, the Man of Fire, in a gym leader, giving us our third gym badge. Before we get started with the rest of this video, be sure to like. Let's aim for two likes on this video. I'm not asking for much, just two likes. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell and turn it on to all. And don't forget to share this video with a friend who I like Pokemon content or you think would just like my channel in general. Now without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so now we have to go to Hammerlock and into the wild area. And this time I'm actually gonna like explore it and stuff. Instead of just passing through it. But there's Hop. Okay, right out here. Hurry up, Thunderbolt. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who'll become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see any trainers who are able to defeat me. And then there's Nessa and Nonos. Thunderbolt, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Hop Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together and see them off as a way of showing our support. So let me send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Thunderbolt. Okay. Uh, Hop's chant is actually kind of decent, I guess. But the you can do it, you can, that just sucks. Like, what is that? You can do it, you can do it. What? Very bad chant. Okay, but anyways, we're in the wild area. And there are plenty of encounters I can get. And I don't know if I can get them right now. I don't know if there has to be like a thunderstorm or something. But anyways, I'll try. Thunderbolt, hammerlock is up that way, got it? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 whatever. Don't tell me about the wild area, I already know enough. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Oh, here's Bead. Blah, 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 blah. Rival dialogue, I don't care. Okay, then. They're battling. Just battle. There you go. Alright. Now for the wild area. So what I'm going to do is just start off like over here. I think I already got an encounter at Bridgefield and over there. So I got two encounters here. But is there anything I can get here right now with the current weather conditions? Not entirely sure. Let's just see. So now I'm in West uh, Lake Axwell. Anything I can catch? No. Still no. Uh. I don't think there's anything I can catch here. I'll probably need a place with a thunderstorm wing or something. Okay, but anyways, moving on, because there's very clearly no encounter here. Unless, what about the Watchtower Ruins? Let's see, Golet, Golet, oh god, I ran into one. Come on, anything? No fire or uh, electro types? Okay, moving on. I don't think there's anything I can catch over here. Uh, Dappled Grove. There, but I believe there's a chance to get a Joltik here, right? But I'm not sure if that's like, exclusive to a certain weather. But if it is, it's probably from running in grass. So let's see. That's a Bunnelby. I'm not sure if Joltik spawns under any weather conditions. Because I actually made a chart. But I didn't actually write down weather conditions. And like random encounters or anything. I probably should have done that. 
But I mean, it was a while ago. Because I knew I was coming to the wild area at some point. Okay, let me just see what's here. Uh, Shelmet. I could take on that. Uh, what should I use? I'll use Kuruma. Oh, well, yeah, I could totally use a Shelmet. Okay, don't invite others. Because, what's the point? But, okay, we're getting into this now. And there's a Shelmet. Okay, out comes Kuruma. And I think a uh, Max Flare would probably take it out. Alright, so we have Wishy Washy. What else? Togepi and Weavile. Wishy Washy and Weavile, they're okay. But Togepi. Why? Just, just, just why? Why do they have, like, these traders who have low level Pokemon? They should have it, like, as they, pr like, as you progress through the game, they get stronger Pokemon. Like, that Togepi Toga would eventually turn into a Toga Kiss. Uh, like, the girl with the Magikarp would eventually have a Gyarados. And a person with a Pikachu could eventually have a Raichu. That would make it much better. Again, yeah, the person with a Clefairy would eventually have a Clefable. Or maybe only if you beat the game, but still. Oh, wow, we just one-shot that Shelmet. Well, that was easy. Okay, but anyways, that's down. Not gonna catch it, because I can't. And I'll let it disappear off in, somewhere into the den. Okay, but got some decent rewards, I think. Okay, but anyways, uh... Could I get a Joltik here? I honestly don't want to run into random encounters, hoping... I'd rather get something that spawns, so if it doesn't spawn in, I'm just going to move on. Because Joltik probably wouldn't spawn in anyways. So, uh, yeah. Okay, now I'm in the rolling fields. I believe I already got an encounter here, though. This is where I got the Vulpix, right? Not entirely sure. Well, I have a feeling that no uh, fire-type Pokemon and probably no electric-type Pokemon will spawn under the weather condition hail. And I'm just going to assume that this is where... Yep, yep, yep. This is exactly where I got Kuruma from. What do you have? I don't need curry ingredients. Ooh, but you will give me something I can sell. Okay, three pearls. Nice. Okay, now I think, let me just get out of the rolling fields, because I already got an encounter here, so there's no point in staying around here. Uh, and I, I so I got one here, and then East Lake Axwell, within, like, when I got Electric, Wolf the Electric, rest in peace, Wolf. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's see. I got a Pokeball there. That's useless. Um, but I think I'm gonna go this way. North Lake Mylock. Can I get anything here? I don't think so. Okay, come on. Anything? Even though it's sunny, I don't think any fire types spawn here. Which is stupid. Why is there stun tank but no fire types? I mean, stunky. Not sunk tank. But seriously though, there should be some fire types here. Comment down below if there are any fire types in our, and I'm just missing them. Okay. But, uh, seems like no fire types and I got I just ran into another skunk. Where am I going? Okay, back in North Lake Mylock. And... I'm just going to assume there's nothing here because of all these skunks. Oh, yeah, there's a spawned in Corviknight. Now, for the giant seat, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to have, like, if all these Pokemon are going to be strong or something. Oh, wait, no, I just... Oh, hey. It's a Vicavolt. That I could potentially get if I didn't have one already, but what's that? 
Vulpix? Okay, I already have a Vulpix. Oh, no, I, I already got a Vulpix before. And I have a Ninetales. So that's useless. Uh, Bisharp. What else? Steelix. Okay, no, from all these fully evolved Pokemon, I have a feeling I should get out of here. But let me just see what that raid is. Let's see. Uh, and it's a Steelix. It's a ground type. I don't really want to do it. So, goodbye, Steelix Den. Uh, what I want to do is try to get Toxel to evolve. So let me see if I feed it some of the candy that I got from the other raid I did against that Shelmet. Will Toxel evolve and will I have a fully evolved team? Uh, let's see, it would be in here, down here. Let me actually give it one small candy. I'm just going to keep feeding it small candies. Okay, one more. No, two more. Okay, two more from that one. And now, Diaper is evolving, and I have a fully evolved team. And just after three gym badges, too. Okay, but here's its evolution, and it is low-key form. I was kind of uh, hoping for amped up form, but I guess I should have probably checked the nature to see which one it was going to turn into. But anyways, Spark. Yes, you can learn Spark. Let's see, what to get rid of? Yep, that's that. Well, that was easy. Don't need flail. Flail's useless. And uh, any other moves? Okay, no. Now, let's keep going through the wild area. So, you just give me nothing if I'm correct. And over here, by the Motor Silk River Bank, there's a Snorlax, and it's Thunderstorming. Okay. So, hopefully, I can get some electric Pokemon here. Electric types. Come on, electric types. There's a Yamper. Oh, God. Yampers and Toxels. Are those the electric types? Seriously? I'm pretty sure that all I can get here is Toxel and Yamper. So, I'm just going to go. All right, Bridgefield. Hopefully, there's something here. Come on, something. 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 I can't believe that I'm actually not getting any encounters in the wild area. It's kind of sad. Wait a minute. Isn't there a place that uh, Galvantula can spawn roaming or something? Hang on. Oh, God. Glarian Lanoon. All right. So, bye. Um... Bridgefield, I believe there's a place I can get an encounter. Although I'm not sure if it's like, or no, not Bridgefield, but somewhere else. Although I'm not entirely sure if it's like in the same uh, location. Because if it is, can't get it. I'll be very disappointed if I can't actually, if I actually just can't get an encounter in the wild area. Rolling Fields, South Lake Mylock. This is a, definitely a new location, and here's Galvantula. Oh, of course it's very strong looking. It's very strong looking. Okay. You know, I'm not going to count this as a failed encounter, so I guess I'll come here. Oh, God. Okay, Volt Absorb. But uh, I guess I'll count. I'll get this encounter later, but I'm not going to count it as a failed encounter. Or should I? Com I'm not going to, but if you guys think I should, comment down below. What's all that? Garventula? Very strong looking. Of course it is. You know, I thought it was gonna. I thought that it was like a Roman Pokemon that was gonna be like in the level twenties. Like that's very strong the first time you come here, but not anymore. But of course it still is. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I probably not. I'm probably not even going to be able to get an encounter here. Because once you pass, um, I'm pretty sure once you pass Bridgefield, all the Pokemon there are very strong looking. So, uh, oh god. Here, well, here's a Yamper. I mean, 
I could go for like a shiny hunt or try to get a shiny emperor. Why? I don't know. But then I could have an encounter because of shiny claws. But uh, there's no point in that. I'm assuming that the only like the only electric type one that you can probably get from fishing. I'm assuming that it's Chin Chow slash Lantern. Probably is. I don't think I can't think of any other water electric types. But uh, yeah, the wild area sucks. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this Embedded Braid. And uh, I use Diaper now that it's a Toxtricity. And I'm probably going to change his name from Diaper. But, uh, anyways, let's see. Impidimp. I've never actually heard Impidimp's, uh, cry. Ooh, Dynamax energy gathered around me, and I can use Max Ooze off of the belt, right? Even without eating a berry, it, it will just work with Max Ooze. Well, hopefully, anyways. Let's just see how this goes. Alright. I can't believe that that Gavagel is very strong still. You know, I, c I would have probably tried to catch it. And the thing with a very strong Pokemon is that you can't catch it. But if you could, I probably would. I'll just catch it. Because why not? So I guess for the rest of the wild area, I'm just going to try to do some raids and hope that an electric or fire type Pokemon spawns in. But, uh, yeah, hopefully there's like a fire type or an electric type that I can catch. I don't be able to use a fire type, so I'm hoping for an electric type. But, uh, looks like the wild area is practically useless. I'm just gonna check this. You know, if I can't get an encounter here, then I'm just gonna check for, uh, where Joltik spawns, what weather conditions of everything. Uh... This is so annoying. But, uh, you know what? I'm gonna change the weather here. Ah, uh, beautiful rain. It's thunderstorming. And now that it's thunderstorming, electric type Pokemon are gonna spawn more frequently. And thunderstorming all over the wild area. Hopefully. That brings in some more electric type Pokemon. Come on, electric types. Electric types. Uh, come on. I'm just gonna do a check of the whole other wild area. And then, at the end of this, I guess I'll just go to, um, Hammerlock. Because, I mean, there's more encounters that I can definitely get in the future. But I want them right now. Because I'm in the wild area. Oh, God. But that Galvantula really had to be strong looking. It really did. Uh, it's so annoying. And I don't even think this Purloin is very strong looking. Like if I run into it. Or Lyperd. Not Purloin. Purloin. Purloin's the base stage. Yeah, you see? Why couldn't it just be like the Lyperd? Uh, not so strong. So I could catch it, and I'd have another uh, member to my team. Actually, not to my team, but I'd have a backup uh, party member. But no. Okay, I'm just going to check where I checked before. So... Literally over there, and then past bridge field. So the giant's place over there, and then the past bridge field. That's all um, strong spawns for me. Oh my god, there's an abundance of electric! Oh god. But hey, they all despawned. 
Come on. Is there anything but electric and stuff old and stuff? Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, Westlake Ax Axwell. Still more electric. Still more electric. Total lack of variety of electric types. God. Okay, wait, what's this? Ooh, Max Revive. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. Because I'm totally allowed to use revives. Totally! Why wouldn't I be? Totally not doing a, nuzz a Nuzlocke. But uh, what's in this den? An Elgem. I could handle that. So I guess I'll just use battery here. Don't invite others. You know, one thing that I could do is that I could run around, put it on, on sun, and then look for fire types. But honestly, what's the point of that? They'd just be sitting in my box as strikes. So. Okay, so but for this raid, what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to go for a max flutter buy. Because that's stab super effective. And it should probably one-shot this thing for more candy. Let's just see. Uh, come on. Just use your move. We don't need to see the Dynamax animation. See it tons and tons and tons of times. Okay, but there's Max Butterfly. And the Elgin lives on one or something ridiculously low. Oh, God. And it's gonna die from Eevee's bite. Oh yeah, Eevee should evolve into an evolution. No, I'm not gonna throw a Pokeball. But uh, hopefully I can sell some stuff. I'm hoping anyways. But uh, let's see. Spawns, spawns, encounters, please. Oh God. Yeah, uh, so I know that Joltik can spawn here. And do I have a Pokemon with static? Does one of these Pokemon have static? Nope. Okay, because if I did, then... Wait a minute, it's thunderstorming, so the weather conditions must be right for an electric type. I mean, it's literally the electric type weather condition. And what's this? A Badu. That I can do. So I guess I'll do some random encounters to try and find a Joltik. Or should I wait? Because I know later on in the game you can get Galvantula. Actually, you know, I'm going to count that a wild area Galvantula as a failed encounter. Because I ran into it and I couldn't catch it. So I guess that's a failed encounter then. Okay, but Torkoal. Uh, Soul Rock. Okay, this is a pretty good team as long as the Soul Rock actually attacks. But then again, it probably won't need to. I can literally just probably Oko it with Max Flutterby. Wait a minute, this did that say effective? Oh yeah, it's grass poison type at this. Or is it just pure grass type at this stage? Not entirely sure. Sorry, I'm just I just yawned. But I'm not entirely sure. Is it a grass poison type? Or is it a grass type? Pure grass type. Let's see. Didn't matter. So it's not pure. Or, I mean, it's not pure grass. No, it is not pure grass type. That's what I was trying to say. But. Um. It is. A grass. And poison type. Okay, but. Uh. I guess I'll try to find Joltik. And, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a random encounter. So I'll be back if I find a Joltik. Yes! That's a Joltik! Okay, finally found a Joltik. And, uh, this is going to be a backup team member. And for once, it's actually going to be a Pokemon I can use. So, okay, I'm just going to see if I can... Throw a Pokeball at it and catch it. 
I'll probably will be able to catch in a Pokeball. Let's just see. Nope, never mind. Okay, Electroweb. But I have Ultra Absorb, so what does that do? Nothing. Okay, I guess I'll try a Great Ball. Because I really don't want to damage this because I don't have a False Swiper on my team. And it's level, it's like literally half of my level. Well, basically. Uh, Great Ball. I'm just going to keep checking Great Balls. Uh, could I try a Dusk Wall if it breaks out, maybe? Or not? Let's just see. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, so now that I've caught the Joltik, let's see. I am going to name it. Hmm. It's a girl, Harry Spider. I'm going to name it Tula. Short for Tarantula. So, uh, Tula's been sent to a box. Let me just make sure Tula's in the right box. Uh, nope. You're not a strike. You're an actual encounter. And Ash, I'm gonna put it in the strikes box at the bottom. So, you know, it was used for a strike. But, uh, here's Tula. Okay, now that I've gotten my encounter, I'm just going to go ahead and fly. Can I fly to Bridgefield now? Nope. But I'm just going to go to East, uh, East, wait, East Lake Axwell. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead over to Hammerlock. You know, I've made a decision. That decision is to never do an, a type-only playthrough ever again. So, uh, my next lock will just be a Nuzlocke, like a normal Nuzlocke, I guess, and not a type only. And I have the game in mind, and I have, the games that I want to do a next Nuzlocke on would probably be like X and Y, or Oras. Um, look, there's a Galvantula, another Galvantula. Guess what, can't catch you now. Doop's Claws. But, uh, I, I'm thinking of doing X and Y or Oras. Probably Oras, though. Because I played through the games, like, uh, once and then, like, halfway through one game. So I want to play through that again. Because the first time I had lots of fun. So I think my next Nuzlocke will be on Oras. But, uh, why am I talking about this? This one, um, uh, this one has to end first. But anyways, oh, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your first future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Okay, Bead's still a jerk. And anyways, you guys, that wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share with a friend. You know all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. AJ, out.